I was watching uh, uh, Jameson Travels and uh, you know it was about uh, a YouTube channel it was the video was about a uh, US Army soldier in US Army Reserve who behaved very poorly in front of the police and um, I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it for one second you know because when I joined US Army in 2005 uh, infantry you know the army believed in brutal disabuse they would tell you that no one cares about you the politicians want a photo ops they would tell you that the public wants to look patriotic they would tell you that your family is not here and that your spouse will get hundreds of thousands of dollars in a case of your death and they would end telling you that all you have is a man on the right and a person on the left that's all you have so you are being there was beyond just telling you that you're not special you're not a special snowflake it was much more brutal and much more real so they would really lower your expectations so i do not understand what happened to the army is it because the army stopped the policy of brutal disabuse and people actually think that they are special snowflakes or is it because i was in infantry and in infantry they are more brutal with you both mentally and physically or is it because some people simply never listen because some people i'm going to give you proof that some people never listen and you may be among people who do not listen and this is also the most important thing you should know before you join u.s military any of the branches any of the six branches whether you join in army navy marines air force space force space force or a coast guard you know it doesn't matter because anytime you sign the contract and you're gonna say well i signed the contract for two years three years four years five years or six years well reality is that they have you up to eight years of active duty and i do not tell you that dd216 the discharge form matters actually it probably doesn't matter at all so i served only a couple of years so they still could bring me back for six more years in addition you know you're gonna say well but dude you are too old not necessarily because when the army used to have age graded you know physical fitness test it went all the way to the age of 60 so i am 47 almost 47 46 going on 47 so you know i'm definitely under the age of 60 so in a very it's very very unlikely however in a case of major war you know like a world war situation they could bring me back and they could bring you back and if you do not know it then you didn't listen it's that simple it's not that the military lied to you you just didn't listen so listen carefully because at recruiter they told me twice that they can hold me up to eight years of active duty then at the processing station so-called maps they told me twice that they can hold me up to eight years of active duty and every single year i was on active duty which wasn't long they told me twice that they can bring me that they can keep me up to eight years of active duty so they told me eight times so you know and uh my service wasn't special you know i spent only a couple years on active duty i was not deployed to war i spent time in united states and germany in germany in an upper unit but in my life i never felt that i was special you know back in the days before i joined military for a couple of years also i did work as a parking violations officer giving tickets to people and i was working with the local police department and when my wife and i got stopped by police guess what did we do we didn't say we were special we actually waited for the police to approach our window and we kept our hands on the dashboard we acted properly 
so should you. You should act properly with police. Because police are just human and they can lose their nerve too. And things can happen. So if you act, act properly, if you comply with police, majority of the time there is very little to fear. I'm not saying things do not happen and cops do not, some, a few cops do not do wrong things. I'm just saying, you know, minimize the odds of something bad happening. And I do support police. So pretty much one thing to know before you join military, once again, no matter for how long you sign your contract, they can keep you up to eight years of active duty. And no, majority of people who say that the military lied to them, actually is the people who are lying, not the military, majority of time. So uh, with that, all the best, and I hope that uh, as many eligible people as possible join the military and succeed in being in the military. However, military doesn't need people who cannot behave themselves in the public because it reflects in a wrong, very wrong way onto the military. And with that, if you liked, please give uh, me a up and subscribe. And thank you and have a great day.